My primary duties right now are to maintain the scientific equipment. So all of our research tools that we have on here, our rosette, triaxis, and anything really that we use to collect data, I have to make sure it's working, make sure it's clean, make sure everything's you know in good working order, I guess is basically the best way you can say it. And then we also have the information and we put that onto the database. So we have to make sure that everything on the database is organized so people can get that information. We also have to do a lot of cleaning. I do vacuum up a lot of bugs. Uh, that's a big part of my job, I guess. Um, but we also, you know, when the ship is docking, we'll be handling lines. We'll be making sure everyone's communicating. You know, we all got to work together on the ship. Mainly it's just collecting all the scientific data so that the scientists can take that home with them and put it to good use. My path was kind of interesting because I didn't start off with biology. Um, I really didn't know what I wanted to do after I got out of high school. Uh, my dad recommended business, so I went to Central Michigan University and started business, but that turned out to be really boring. Uh, so I changed directions and I moved to Texas and went to music school for about a year and a half, which was fun, but I really didn't have my heart in it. And I always knew I wanted to do biology, so I decided to just go for it and I went back to Central Michigan University and uh, ended up with a biology degree out of there in uh, Natural Conservation and Resources. Well, you know, like I said, I, I changed my major twice before I picked biology, so a little bit of trial and error, that helped out, just getting a feel for what I liked. And, um, you know, I always enjoyed being outdoors, I'm an avid fisherman, and uh, I knew I didn't want to be stuck in an office for, uh, you know, I wanted something a little bit more interactive, I don't, you know, so that was a big decision. Um, I just really wanted to, uh, I guess, help and protect the environment. Well, there's two different types of days. There's an in-port day, and then there's an at-sea day. In-port is just like a normal day. We we'll wake up at uh, 8 o'clock and work until 4. We usually do maintenance on anything we have around the ship, um, you know, like our science stuff, make sure it's all working, clean it out, organize things. Usually after a survey, everything is just kind of like a tornado went through, so we got to make sure put it all back, clean it up. And that would be an import day. Then when we're out on a cruise, you know, I work a shift with two other marine techs, six hours on and 12 hours off, so we would get on and then wherever we are in that survey, get filled in by the other person we're leaving and we do whatever scientific things need to be done. Launch equipment, monitor equipment, uh, help out with science wherever they need us. Knowing how to work a computer and all the scientific equipment we have is very important. Um, and I gotta say, I'm just starting to really grasp all the different types of devices we use to get this data. Uh, everyone's different, there's all these different companies, they're from all these different places, and you gotta really know the differences in software, and it's almost like speaking another language when you try to work with this software, so knowing technology is very important. Also, you know, when you're working on a ship, you, you, it's like a different life, you can't just go home and go walk around wherever you wanna go walk around, you're on a boat. So you gotta be able to adapt and be comfortable with that, um, which is okay. You just gotta find things to do, and there's plenty of things to do on the boat. So that's a skill, and being able to work well with others, because you meet a lot of different people out here, a lot of different scientists, and also you're stuck with the same people on the boat in a very small space for a long time. So being able to get along and uh, really just communication is key on the boat.